Shalom, this is Nathan Yala from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Makai Kodesh, double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well among many other things, and peace and citations to the elect that is scattered abroad in the four winds of the earth, out there in the highways, ahead of pushing the truth and sincerity. Shalom. <coughs> all right, so I got a couple articles to show that, you know, a lot of things is about to change here. You know, um, Brothers got videos on uh, BitChute. You know, they got a channel on BitChute. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, um, all right, you know, these are the different sites, you know, um, besides YouTube. And now these devils, these so-called white people, are going to take out those platforms as well. Which this video is going into the famine of the word, man. All right, because you have these other platforms that are out there in the world that people are using because, you know, on uh, YouTube, um, they really restrict you know, a lot of things that you say on those videos, you know. Um, for example, you got, you know, guys out there that are in the world, you know, even the heathens, you know, these so-called white people, these Edomites making videos about uh, what's going on concerning what the government is doing and what their plans are doing, uh, what plans they have in mind, you know, as far as these di these uh, different things that they're bringing up to pretty much take the rights aw away from the people, okay, bringing out information concerning the um, C-19, how dangerous it is, and, um, you know, Esau, being a damn devil that he is, you know, he's a censor, was just going into censorship, is uh, taking them off by justifying his cause by saying that it is a hate speech or misinformation, right? So that's what this, this article is about, but it's not only concerning YouTube. Now it's also concerning these other uh, platforms that are set up by other people um, that want to have a thing called freedom of speech, which that is ultimately going to be taken away, all right? But when that happens, you know, the thing is, they're doing this is because of the fact that the Israelites, all right, uh, mainly starting with Great Millstone, on, uh, you know, starting with Elder Apostle Tahar on down, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai is shining a light upon this earth and showing actually who the wicked are, going into prophecies and telling the children of Israel who they really are, which you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, you know, it was one of the biggest secrets upon this earth that they spent millions, probably billions of dollars to cover up. Okay, that's why, you know, those Amalekites that are in that land of Israel right now, they want to make everybody seem or think that the, they are the people of the Most High, but yet it doesn't line up with scriptures at all whatsoever. Okay, because as it says in Isaiah 14, that if, you know, that we will be brought back into that land by the heavenly father how about you know shy but is that is that a fact no it's not a fact because going back in 1948 the belfort declaration was when you know these uh rap passages got helped by britain to go into the land and also commit genocide which we really don't care about because those people also these so-called uh, so arabs are not supposed to be in that land either okay and that's what that's what they're beefing over there all about is about that land which does not belong to them okay the land israel was actually a person before it was called after a man all right so as it says here the world economic forum calls for merging of human and all intel to censor hate speech and misinformation all right so this devil right here you know which I believe he is also from uh, the tribe of uh, Teman, you know, these Edomites, you know, these wise devils. They know exactly what they're doing, man. And he's all about that so-called New World Order. Okay. Now it says here, despite the fact that no one asked, the World Economic Forum is now advocating for emerging of human and artificial intelligence system to censor hate speech and misinformation online before it is 
even allowed to be posted, right? So they're setting up a whole grid concerning the internet because if you really get down to it and understand the thing is that, you know, what was I going to say? Um, oh, man, it's just <laughs> it's a lot in my mind uh, went somewhere else. Um, yeah, that, they came back. It's locked in. Um, that pretty much that, you know, they control the media. They control television. They control radio. Okay, but one thing that they didn't have control of was the internet. And that's what they're doing right now. Okay. Because they say knowledge is, knowledge is power, right? And they, they're taking it away because as you read in... Uh, Daniel's, which is a prophecy that came to pass, man. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But but thou, though, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And that's concerning the internet. Okay? So knowledge shall be increased. But now, you know, in the two, like the early 2000s was a time of like the golden time of, of uh, knowledge. Right, because you could actually look up for specific information and you will get it. Nowadays, you won't get it. You got to go to alternative uh, search engines like what is it called again? Uh, Yandex, right? I downloaded Yandex. Yandex is a very good search uh, engine. Like, for example, if I go to. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. Benefits. Oof. Dan D. Lion. Dandelions. Dandelion. Root. Let's say root. You know, you get a whole bunch of information about dandelions, right? You get like, like a lot. You know, which I'm also going to make a video about this myself. Uh, if you put, uh, let's see, tincture benefits, which I'm going to make a video about. Yeah, you know, what is uh, hey, this one right here, this article is a very good one, man. You know, um, hormone balance, blood building, detoxifying, dandelion tincture. Now go. Go and Google, go to Google and put, and put, uh, Danny line tinctures and look for this article. See if you can find it. All I gotta say is good luck, man. And that's the point. See, they, they want to take over your, your, you know, your, the, they want to take over the, the information that is put out there for the embetterment of people, you know, concerning your health and actual information that is very useful. And it makes you aware of things, what's going on. And they want to take that away from everyone. But the main reason is because of us. Okay, we're bringing out the truth. And the truth hurts, man. Okay. Um, says here, a report published to the official WEF website anonymously warns about the peril of dark world of online harms. Right. And they want to tell you this kind of shit, but yet... If you watch TV, there's a whole bunch of sodomy going on. Very sexual, um, sexualized um, videos, movies, um, songs as well, you know. And they ain't, they ain't um, saying anything about these things that are very provocative, you know, um, and harmful for young children to grow up to see and yet they have it on television but yet and also violence you know uh, they don't ever stop and and think about how it's harmful for children to see a lot of violent things on tv or on video even on youtube man you know you go to youtube you can see some very provocative uh shit like you know also some disgusting shit you know they talk. They take down our videos concerning the fact that we're bringing out certain situ, uh, certain certain things that exposes them for what they're doing. All right. Yet 
they they will tell you, oh yeah, this is this is hate speech, you know. But then you can put in YouTube a uh, horse lover, and you will find a guy that actually fucks horses from nine years ago, or probably even longer than that, you know. And they want to say the dark world of online harms. Yet that shit is still on there, you know, on YouTube. Okay, they're a bunch of hypocrites. They're, they 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 want to pervert the children. They want to pollute the minds of the people, you know, and, you know, it's it's just an ongoing thing, you know, it's a battle of the mind, but yet the people don't understand what's going on, man. But soon, when the judgment starts to come in, man, they're going to realize that there was a prophet among them speaking upon the things that are actually going to happen and actually starting to happen right now, okay, rather you want to hear it or, or not, man, these things are going to happen, man, concerning the famine which is lack of bread and water, the pestilence, which is deadly viruses, all right, the sword, which is the modern day weapon, okay, all hell is about to break loose, but yet when we talk about these things, it's considered hate speech, and we're just simply reading out the Bible telling you these are the prophecies that are written from the Heavenly Father, okay, the spirit of the Heavenly Father were upon particular men to write these things down, and they were written down for a very good reasons. why, because these things will play out upon earth, Okay, and a lot of people think it's just, it's a joke, but it's you know this is this is the thing, man. The Most High has set up, all right, the weak, all right. He has set up, you know, the the, the men that that not are you know we we're not mighty men. We're not um highly intelligent, but through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the knowledge that we've been given on onto um it's it's you know we have knowledge far beyond a lot of people that really think, man. You know, and it's a very powerful knowledge that we possess, you know, but yet do the people respect it or even think about, hey, man, this is this is crazy because, hey, this this brother right here was just saying something, you know, all the scriptures and actually it's, it's starting to happen, man. No, but, I, you know, that's the thing about our people, man. Stubborn as hell, man. Right. Because they want to continue doing the bullshit that they're doing. They're thinking that, you know, they're going to continue on with their life and be successful somehow, somewhere. In a fucking kingdom full of wickedness, man. A kingdom that's set up not for you to prosper, man. And Heavenly Heavenly Father had it set that way. Why? Because we're we we are cursed, man. Why you think we don't have stores around here that that are selling, man? All right, we don't have no stores, not even within our own countries. But yeah, when these Chinese people come in, these uh, East Indian people come in, and these Arab people come in, they they set up shop, man. You ain't never seen no stores from us, man. And if, they, if you see a store from us, it doesn't last long, man. You know? And that goes into Deuteronomy chapter 28, but yet our people don't want to listen, man. Right? So it says, but the globalist body run by comic book bond villain Klaus Schwab has a solution. Whoa. This, this nasty, uh, you know, I seen a picture with him. Dressed in a in a fucking like lingerie type fucking shit, man. This nasty fucking devil, man. He's got a solution for y'all, man. He's got a solution for this situation. Yet yeah. this cross dressing piece of shit, right? This cross dressing dressing piece of shit has a solution about the dark world of online harms. A cross dressing piece of shit, man. Anyways. They want to merge the best aspects of human censorship and AI machine learning algorithms to ensure that people's feelings don't get hurt and counter uh, counter regime opinions of blacklisted. You see, and they want to sit there and tell people that, yeah, we don't want to hurt your feelings, you know, and they want to, you know, and the thing at the same time, what they're doing is taking away your rights. All under the banner of we're here to help you. You know? People are like, yeah, you're right. You know? And then they scream at the same time, we have a freedom of speech. But don't hurt nobody's feelings. You know? This is the hypocrisy. But you know what? You motherfuckers deserve it, man. And they shut your shit down, man. All right? And the thing is, this system is also going to go into the MOTB, man. You know, and it's just like, you got to think about it. 
you know, soon when they're going to say, oh, you have to have a CHIP in order for you to, you know, buy, buy and sell, you know, considering Revelation chapter 13, verse 15, you know, if you say anything against the government, they're going to shut your shit down. This is another way for them to shut you down, man, shut you up. Probably come snatch you up too and throw you into a fucking FEMA camp. She, you know, you, you, you motherfuckers, you gonna find out the hard way, man. And anyways, by uniquely combining the power of innovative technology, off-platform intelligence, look at it, off-platform intelligence collection and the prowess of subject matter expert who understand how threat actors operate. Scaled uh, detection of online abuse can reach near perfect precision, states the article. You know, and they're serious about this. After engaging in a whole host of mumbo jumbo, the article concludes by proposing a new framework rather than relying on AI to detect a scale and humans to review edge cases and in intellect. Intelligent based approach is crucial. So they want to go further, they want to go more deep into, you know, to controlling the internet by bringing human because you know that the AI is programmed only to do certain things what a human program it to do. But if you start speaking slang, the AI is not going to catch it. So they want to get something that's more advanced to pretty much take over whatever you say. You know, they go, they go, they gonna find out what you mean because AI is not gonna catch everything. That's what they want to do. Um, by bringing human, uh, uh curated, curated, human curated multi language of platform intelligence into learning sets, AI will then be able to detect announced novel abuses of scale before they reach mainstream platforms, you see. So they want to <coughs> pretty much um, set it up to where it's understanding even the slang and things like that. Because you might speak a language, but if you have a slang to it, the AI is not, AI is not going to catch it. Uh, supplemented this smarter automated detection with human experts expertise to review edge cases and identifying false positives and negatives and then feeding those findings back into training sets will allow us to create AI with human intelligence baked in the artificial rambles you know and I'm going to grab another article right here you can go into it yourself now, this one is the WEF's Global Intelligence Collecting AI to Erase Ideas from Internet. So, this is another thing going into how they're going to, so they're going to, you, whatever you have out there, you know, concerning, you know, speaking your mind or really going into speaking this truth, you know, you know, starting first of all, the words of the Heavenly Father, they're going to erase it. Doesn't matter what platform it's at, man. So, brothers, y'all got videos out there on different platforms. Get ready because, hey, the feminine word is coming, man. They're going to they gonna erase it, man. Now, it says here, the World Economic, uh, Economic Forum is becoming a little concerned. Unapproved opinions are becoming more popular <laughs> because they're, you know, the thing is, people are fed up with the, the bullshit that these uh, devils is doing. And they're bucking up against their own nation. That's what's going on right now. Because <clears throat> the draconian laws is being put forth, man. That's what's going on. And these devils are doing all kinds of shit. Taking out farmers and so on and so on. A lot of people are striking. Train drivers over there in the UK are striking. You know, a lot of things is going on. So, you know, because of what people are saying against the government, they want to take that out. and make it seem like everything is a... Wonderful, good place while chaos is breaking out. They want to control it because, for example, in uh, Japan, Japan, you know, they, uh, the, the whole government pretty much resigned in one day on, on the 10th of this month on August. On a Wednesday, they all resigned, all of them. 
But do you hear about that in the mainstream media? You know, these are the things that they want to keep under the rug. So just imagine if they had total control of the internet and no one is able to get through the AI unless they accept what you say. So that means they control the whole narrative. You don't hear about the chaos that's going on in, in Italy. You don't hear about, you know, the people who are rising up against the government in Germany. You don't hear about the rioting going on in the Netherlands. You don't hear things about going on, what's going on in America, as far as, uh, you know, um, the resistance concerning the, the, the C-19, right, mandates, all right, or, or, or the fact that the MOTB, the, C, the MOTB, CHIP, Revelation chapter 13, verse 15, them uh, bucking up against that over there in America because they're going to start that there uh, in December the 10th, you know. Brother told me there's an article about that as well. Okay. So when when everything is taken out concerning the internet, you know, thing called free speech, when that's taken out, they control the whole narrative. That you know, just like when you watch the news, it's fucking pointless. You'll see something on the news concerning there's a fire in the in the um in the neighborhood. And then, then the next video is talking about how a fire department saved a cat out of a fucking tree. How's that useful news, man? You know, they tell you a bunch of shit, garbage on fucking these these uh news uh, broadcasts. You know, which you know is not really fucking useful, man. And that's why they want to take out the internet because there's a lot of things going on, man. Especially in these social medias, man. A lot of people's uh, things are getting shut down. Okay. They're getting shut down, man. Instagram um, pages getting shut down because you're being censorship. Okay. Meaning you, you ain't got no freedom of speech. I'll be all under the banner of we want to keep people safe from being having their feelings hurt. Yeah, right. So if I'm complaining, right, because... Um, you go, you got a bunch of, uh, uh, uh you know, cross-dressing dudes on TV and shit. It's, it's offending me and it's offending my family. It's offending the people in my neighborhood in in the society. Then, then all of a sudden, because I'm saying something that I'm saying some hate, hate speech when I'm being offended, you know, this is, this is the, this is the fucking hypocrisy that they do. But you know, this, this is their kingdom, so. It is what it is. Right now, it's on its fucking last good toe. You know, and they're trying to balance it out, but soon they're going to fall flat on their face, man. Because this, this uh, whole society is about to crumble, man. They want to try to control it, but it, their, their whole agenda is going to get flattened when the most high comes through. You know, and this goes into this goes into a prophecy, man, you know. So, um, the pro the prophecy concerning, uh, Amos 8 and 11, man, which I'm going to grab concerning the famine of the word, man. All right. So the word of, um, the world economy, uh, forum is becoming a little concerned. Approved, approved opinions are becoming more popular. Unapproved opinions are becoming more popular and online censor cannot keep up with millions of people becoming more aware and, and more vocal. So people are being aware about what's going on and they're being very vocal about it and the government don't like it. So this is what they're doing. The censorship engines <coughs> employed by internet platforms turn out to be quite stupid and incapable. People are even daring to complain about the World Economic Forum, which is ob obviously completely uncapable <coughs> so wef <coughs> author engel embal uh, goldberger came up with a solution she proposed to collect off <coughs> collect off platform intelligence from millions of sources <coughs> to spy on people and new ideas and then merge this information together to con Sent removal decisions sent down to internet platforms. So this is the this is the thing, man. They are going. They're attacking these other platforms, okay? And they're gonna start taking them out one by one, man. And they're gonna and guess what? It's gonna sweep through like a like a wildfire. 
you won't see your brother's video. It's just gone, disappeared, man. Right? And this is very important. You know, this is a time where you really need to get down and get get this wisdom, knowledge, understand that you can and take notes, copy videos, you know, download them into a hard drive so you can, you know, go back and, 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 and get into the scriptures, man, being edified, right? Being fed. Do spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. It's like, yeah. Um, uh, it says here, and to merge this information together to content removal decisions sent down to internet pl uh, platforms to become the barriers of traditional detection uh, metho methodologies to propose a new framework rather than relying on AI to detect at scale and humans to review edge cases. An intelligence-based approach is crucial. So again, they want to enhance uh, information that the, the AI have so it's able to pick up on what people are really saying because of slang and you know different languages and and the uh, and the dialects. Okay. So you can go into it. You can read more about it. But this is what these doubles are up to right now, man. They want to take over, man. Completely. All right. So this is... Uh, Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Yo, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the of the Lord Yahweh. Okay, so this is what's come in the past, man. We're coming into the time where the Most High is going to have his men not speaking his words anymore. How is he doing that? By them devils pretty much taking the word off the internet. And if that's the case, what do you think is going to happen later on? The Heavenly Father is just going to pretty much say, he's going to probably put the spirit on the elder apostle to heart. Say, hey, we're closing up shop, man. No more going out there teaching these streets. You know, and, and you, you know, this is a thing where y'all really should get down into the, in, into the truth, man. Because when that time comes, man, where the truth is taken away. All right. Off the these platforms, off of these streets, there's a time where you know, you you hey, you should be afraid, man. You know, you should truly be afraid that hey, man, a lot of things is about to happen here very soon. You know, this really shows you that we're at the end, man. You know, and uh, those scoffers, you know, they're gonna be continue to be proud. You know, they're gonna clap their hands and shit. You know, but. That's a time when they should actually be terrified. But it's it's gonna be it's gonna be to the downfall. You know, Proverbs chapter one goes over that. So I'm just gonna keep this video short. But you know, in Proverbs chapter one, it goes into that. You know, Heavenly Father's gonna laugh at their calamity. You know. So um, it says here. Behold, wait, verse twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall not find it. All right. And that's going to be people that heard this truth, man. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33, and it reads, And when these come at the pass, which are these prophecies, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Okay? And that's why they're going to run to and fro looking for the for the men of the Lord, man. But then it's going to be too late, man. Because that grace period that you've been given unto, I wish the Heavenly Father, a, he, he's a very merciful power. He gives you time to get ready, man. He gives you time to repent. But if you are, you know, out there in the world and you continue want to be a nigga, well, guess what? You're going to die like one, man. You know, and that's why we out here trying to, you know, tell our people to compel them, A, hey, to get right, man. Turn back to the Heavenly Father while you have the time. 
you have the liberty to get right. You know, you have that. But soon when this day happens, when these prophecies come to pass, then you're going to know that there was a prophet among you. But then it's going to be too late, man. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, and many other things. And peace and salutations to the elect that is scattered abroad in four winds. Shalom.